I want to talk about Evelyn Lozada, right? Evelyn Lozada <laughs> is apparently staying at the home of Mark Anthony. That's according to him. She decided to go on social media and post pictures of his home, you know, of herself while she's in his home, right? And then he has to come out and deny that there is anything going on. Mark Anthony is like, ain't nothing going on but this mortgage, okay? If he's paying one. Probably might not have to pay one, but anyway. Ain't nothing going on, you know. I'm I'm doing my own thing. She's a friend, quote unquote. <laughs> Mark, you ain't smashed. <laughs> Listen, let me tell you something. Listen, I would not want to be linked to Evan Lozada either. Okay? Evan Lozada is messy, and she ruins the men that she's in relationships with. Not all of them, but she ends up ruining them at some point. You look at Antoine Walker, and you look at Chad Ochocinco. You know, Carl got out of there just in, just in time. Let me see if I can put this on the screen so y'all can see this. This is according to page six. Mark Anthony is not dating basketball wife star Evan Lozada, even though she's taking pictures in his home, trying to make it seem like that's her place. So he has to come out the night like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Out the reports emerged that Mark Anthony has been dating Evelyn Lozada. Page Six has exclusively confirmed that the rumors are not true. Anthony's reps told Page Six on Tuesday that the reports are false and that he simply offered Lozada and her family to stay in his house while he was away. Sure, bro. Sure, bro. <laughs> the I Need to Know crooner, who's 52, and the Basketball Wives star was 44, was first linked after fans noticed she was taking pics of herself lounging by his pool in Miami and in his home. First off, why is she staying in his house? Isn't she from the Miami area? Why are you staying at this dude's house? Are you homeless? Because <laughs> we know the basketball wives checks probably ain't came in yet. So why are you staying at this dude's house? Lozano's previously engaged to Carl Crawford, who with whom she shares a six-year-old son with and was also married to NFL player Chad Johnson. She also she also mom to a 27-year-old daughter, Shanice, from a previous relationship. Anthony shares 12-year-old twins Max and Emmy with ex-wife Jennifer Lopez. He also has four other children from previous relationships. So he's, he's a lot of kids. You know, Evelyn also... She also bragged about the fact that young guys be hitting her up. That young guys be in the inbox. They trying to talk to her. And I notice a lot of older women do that, but they're always single. And it's like, okay, you got these guys hitting you up, but you're still single though. So uh, even if you have young guys to choose from, older guys to choose from, it still ain't worked out for you. It's almost like it's an ego boost to say a younger guy hit them up. So who has the more value? Are you saying that young guys are very valued? Their opinion of you is valuable to the point to where you brag about it? You're saying that these guys are your daughter's age and that's why you're not interested in them, which is fine. It's fine. She like guys her age. That's fine. That is fine. But don't use, don't use that as a, as a point to brag about because if you're not interested in dating them, what's the point of bragging about them? You're bragging about these young guys want you, but then you would never date those young guys. What, what's the point of that? You're looking for an achievement anywhere you can find it. You got these older women who love to brag about these young guys, these young guys, this. Are you telling me these young guys are that valuable? Their opinion of you is that valuable? You won't date them? Why are you single then? You should have been able to find somebody. 
You know, whether they're your age, maybe a little bit older, maybe a little bit younger, they still have not been able to get you off of the market. You you're on the market and you've been on the market for quite some time. And we can't say, well, maybe she doesn't have time for it. She got time to film that reality show. She got time to travel. Understand this, ladies. Times have changed. You don't have the leverage you once had. That is done. Yeah, you're going to get a lot of follows on social media. You're going to get a lot of likes on social media. You're going to get a lot of guys commenting on your post telling you how beautiful you are, and how they would marry you, how they would take care of you. How you're the most beautiful woman they've ever seen. You're a great mom. When they post food that they that their um that their relatives cook, they're like, "You're such a great cook. Look at that food. Wow, you just you're, you're so perfect. You're beautiful. You're smart. You can cook. You're a great mom." You're a go-getter. You're an entrepreneur. You're just doing so many great things. You're so perfect. You would complete me. These guys are telling these women these things and they're boosting their egos up to where they feel like they should be getting shows out here. So they just stay in the streets just a little bit longer because they think that sooner or later, somebody's going to come along that just has everything that they're looking for. Everything. And what they end up finding out is Mr. Perfect ain't coming. Mr. Perfect already got about a thousand women <laughs> trying to get with him. They don't need no more. And they especially don't need somebody who's dysfunctional, who's older, who is not just for one man. So Mark Anthony having you in his house you take him it, it reminds me of when 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 um larsa pippen right she was at future's house she was at future's house and she was taking photos in his house staying at his house but the thing was was that they were smashing future never denied it she didn't either but in this situation Evelyn Lazada is making herself comfortable. She's taking photos at his house because she knows people are going to put two and two together. And she's showing people that that's her place. And Mark Anthony, who may or may not be smashing, is like, nah, come on, man. Stop that. Don't put that out there. It's not a relationship. Could be something else. But it's not a relationship. It's not a relationship. She just at my house just because, even though she's from the Miami area. <laughs> she's from the area, but she's staying at my house while I'm gone. <laughs> How many dudes are going to use that excuse? Hey, if their side piece is at their house taking photos, like, oh, you know, she, that, that's my sister. That, no, she, that, she's like a sister to me. Somebody I've known for a long time. We friends. She's just staying at the house. Ain't nothing going on. Come on, bruh. <laughs> She knew people would see them photos. She knew people put two and two together, man. She dry snitched on you, man. She dry snitched on you. Now she done ruined a potential relationship due to her thirst to brag about who she with. 